Hello, hello. Welcome back to Chill Time. I am your host, Kelly Wong, and thank you so much for tuning in to episode two. And oh my gosh, what a week it has been. I do not know about you guys, but the fact that we're already in the end of March is so shocking. Literally three months of 2023 are already almost over. Like, it is crazy. But with that being said, today's episode is going to be focused on having a relationship with yourself. And this topic, I know, is sometimes hard to deal with because a lot of people I realize these days, um, having a relationship with themselves can sometimes be overlooked. And it sometimes probably doesn't matter, especially if you have to put it someone else in your hands first and I am guilty of that all the time like even now sometimes I'm guilty of it but I've towed back a lot on it because I realize it is not good for me mentally now what I mean by putting others first is just being overall extremely extremely selfless like it is good to be selfless i am not saying it is a bad thing to be selfless but there is a level of being too selfless of when you're constantly constantly people pleasing or constantly putting others first and not putting yourself first and that's where having a relationship with yourself is extremely important and be overlooked So, I'm definitely guilty of people-pleasing and putting others first. For my relationship with putting others first all the time before me, I mean, like I said, I still do it up to today sometimes, but I don't do it as much as I used to. I used to be an adjunct professor, and I used to be an after-school teacher, So I would be surrounded by kids and people every single day. And it was, most of the time, it was the same people, which, thank God, that definitely helped. But at the same time, I was also a museum educator. So museum education, you have a different audience every single day and constantly, constantly having to change personalities and for me that was constantly putting others first instead of putting myself first because just being in those three jobs all at the same time I was so so miserable that there were mornings I didn't even want to get out of bed because I really didn't want to talk to people but I was too selfless to cancel anything because I felt bad for leaving everyone hanging and having issues like finding replacements and everything. And it was so, so difficult. And there were things that I didn't want to do, which, for for example, like there were days that I didn't want to grade, but I still had to push myself and force myself to grade because I had deadlines to do. And That's when I think I had the worst relationship to myself. When I realized I was having a really bad relationship with myself, it definitely took a hit on other relationships I was having with people, both romantic relationships, friendships I was having, and just overall, my relationship with people took a hit because I constantly felt like I was giving them my all, but at the same time, I couldn't help it, but at the same time, feel so alone because I just didn't know why I was feeling so empty despite I was being surrounded by constant love. I had no idea at the time what was going on. I realized after a couple weeks of having four jobs that I was having such a toxic relationship with 
myself and it took like a while for me to realize it was so toxic it not it wasn't because i didn't love myself it's because i was not giving myself the same respect i was giving to others i would be going above and beyond for other people but i was not going above and beyond for myself and that mirrored into my reality and as cliche as it sounds it's definitely true what you feel within yourself definitely reflects in your outer world i will not deny that and it just made me realize that i definitely need to take time to heal myself and if you are currently in the same situation as i was in just take what resonates with you because as i will be telling you guys how i coped with it pull out a notebook and pen and definitely write this down if you want to because i'm going to be to sharing my advice and what i was able to do to heal my relationship with myself and obviously take what resonates with you and what you think will help out i'm not saying that this is one way to do it and you have to do this to be able to heal your relationship with yourself no this is just my approach and my ideas and that's the point of this podcast just have open conversations and share my journey with all you guys listening and hopefully heal your relationship with yourself too so here we go so my number one tip to healing your relationship with yourself is to number one definitely identify what made you have such a toxic relationship with yourself whether that is past trauma constantly constantly helping others but never having the energy or not fine i won't say energy but like not having the knack to be able to do the same thing for yourself and i was definitely guilty of that and it took me a a long time to realize why I was having such a toxic relationship with myself and and just digging into the key of how and why I was having such a toxic relationship with myself and number one for me that was constantly putting others first and not putting myself first and I felt like if people was not giving me that same uh, dedication that I was giving to them, I would have been so offended and so upset. And it just made my relationship with that person just overall unhealthy as well. So once I started putting myself first and going above and beyond for myself, then it was a lot easier to heal my relationship with myself because I was able to figure out what truly, truly made me upset. Tip number two that I have is definitely know your worth because knowing your worth is so important when it comes to having a established relationship with yourself. Just if you're feeling so down and you're feeling like you're letting everybody down, if you're being selfish and putting yourself first, don't feel that uh, that way. I know it's easier said than done, but you just have to know that if you're not in a good place, everyone else around you is also not going to be in a good place because you physically and mentally will be having a hard time giving them your all. So definitely know your worth and put yourself first. Tip number three that I have is to journal or meditate or do both. Now, these two topics are definitely new territory for me. I used to not journal or meditate at all, but now that I started doing it, it honestly changed changed my mind and my mentality. It just helps me relax 
and just keep me in the present moment. Journaling definitely has helped me when I am when I've been having a hard time. My favorite tip that I saw somewhere was if you are having a hard time letting a trauma go. Oh, like obviously everyone one deals with trauma differently, so obviously do what works best for you. But my favorite way to help with any sort of trauma or that someone has said to me is I write it word for word on a piece of paper in my journal. I rip that piece of paper out of my journal and I either shred it or burn it. More or less, as I shred it most of the time, I don't burn it. But you can either shred it or burn it and honestly, it makes you feel so much better because it feels like you're shredding or burning away that awful memory. Tip number four is to have clear communication with people. Now, this is super, super important because especially if you're around people 24-7, being very, very transparent with them and just know that you're human too, that and you have your own emotions and your own hardships that you have to go through like communicate with everybody because if you have to be there for so many people but you're not there for yourself like that is not good and it is it just makes your life very difficult and therefore it it will make their lives very difficult and i can attest to this because i was an adjunct professor for one semester at my college and I fell behind on grading and it was the worst thing that I could do for myself and my students because my students were then having a hard time knowing where they are at in uh, in their class because as a lab adjunct professor, the grades I give them reflect Act and add on to their lecture grade. So if they can see they're not doing so well in lab, they they know they will not pass the class or the lecture as a whole. So I was definitely full of guilt that I was falling so behind and they didn't know where, where they were at. So I the amount of times I had to send out an email to them saying that, okay, I am a bit behind on grading. I have had a hard time these past couple weeks, but I'm trying my best. The amount of love and like empathy that I was getting from my students during the in-person class sessions was just so amazing. They didn't rush me. They were being so nice, so sweet to me. Like it was shocking. So definitely, definitely, definitely have clear communication with people you are around. So those are my four top tips in helping to heal your relationship with yourself. And obviously, I can build more on this topic in a later episode if you guys want. Uh, obviously leave me some feedback my dms are open on my instagram at k-e-l-l-w-o-5-4-8 i am always on instagram that's where you guys can connect with me and i hope you guys have an amazing amazing week and tune in to next week for another episode of chill time